What's going on boys, it's Clements back on the mic and I'm on Warzone Pacific as you can see. Now currently the servers are offline, um, you can't even play Modern Warfare which did baffle me a little bit. I was hoping to hop on Modern Warfare for a little bit um, but you can't even do that. The whole entire game is just offline unfortunately. Which does obviously make sense, you know, Modern Warfare and Warzone both run on the same application. When you boot up Warzone, you aren't, you aren't actually booting up Warzone, you're booting up Modern Warfare. So obviously it makes complete sense, but I was kind of hoping that maybe they would keep um, the server side that supports Modern Warfare online. Like the Modern Warfare servers would have been left online, but maybe they run on the same servers, I've got no idea. But I was kind of hoping that the side, the uh, half of the game that is Modern Warfare would have still been online and playable. But it doesn't like it is, so I mean it makes complete sense, but yeah. But I went offline anyway because I wanted to check the... I wanted to basically answer the big fat question. Is there a field of view slider in this new update? And there isn't, and I'm disappointed. It was the most anticipated feature of this huge Pacific update. And there isn't one, as you can see in the gameplay, it's just me going through all the settings. And I couldn't find anything, nothing in the accessibility options. Nothing in, they've changed the settings a little bit now, there's a visuals tab and there's also a graphics tab. Um, they kind of switched things up and introduced quite a few new settings which is cool but you know the big thing was the fill of view slider and I couldn't find it in any of the tabs uh, or anything. So there, as far as I'm aware as you can see in the gameplay there is not a fill of view slider on console in this new update. I mean the least they could have done was update us on the situation regarding the field of view slider over on Twitter or something. I mean the last time we heard something official about the field of view slider uh, on console was I'm pretty sure it was over a year ago. I know Infinity Ward tried to do it when Warzone just became a new thing and I also know that Raven Software tried to do it again um, not too far following after they uh, took over the whole Warzone scene. The least they could have done is taken to Twitter and just let the community or everyone on Twitter know that look we've tried to add a field of view slider again and it's just not possible we can't do it but yet again they've said absolutely nothing and I saw tweets yesterday and I even I even replied to a few tweets yesterday over on Twitter if you don't follow me on there links down below the description somewhere if you want to follow me over on there I do um I do tweet every now and again I'm quite active on there I don't tweet myself all that much but I am on Twitter quite a lot so if you want to directly message me or anything feel free to do so but I saw a lot of t a tweets yesterday underneath um, Raven Software's tweets or something I don't know what tweet it was but a lot of people were just going on about how game developers are just being bullied and forced into adding a field of view slider and I tweeted out and replied to these people that look these if, if, if they actually were more openly um, active and communicated more with the community more openly like they used to we wouldn't have to nag or quote unquote bully these game developers into letting us know about what they're planning ahead for the future what new features are coming what they plan on fixing when there's game breaking bugs and glitches in the game they're so quiet and I got a lot of comments on my last video that I made two days ago regarding field of view slider uh, and I genuinely thought it was coming to the game. I was wrong, I'll hold my hands up on that. I didn't say quote me on it, I didn't provide any evidence that it was coming, but I just put my thinking cap on, speculated, and used my you know, my two brain cells, rubbed them together, and, and said, look, there's a good solid chance, which there was, there was a good solid chance that we would have got a field of view slider with this update. Fortunately, we didn't, but I got a lot of comments on that video, basically, from an excuses out there, giving these game developers excuses as to why they haven't added one or won't add one, which they haven't, but won't add one, um, this our last gen consoles, you know the hardware limitations and stuff. Listen, I'm on an Xbox One X. It runs Warzone fine. It runs it on. I've got a 4K display. Okay, it runs Warzone at 4K 60 frames per second. Right, there is nothing wrong. There is no reason why I cannot have a field of view slider on my Xbox One X. Cold War had it, admittedly a different engine, but guess what? Vanguard has it. Vanguard is the exact same engine as Modern Warfare and Warzone. It runs on the exact same engine. I understand maybe this standard first generation ever of Xbox One may struggle. I mean, it struck my mate Luigi. Okay, shout out to Luigi if he even watches my videos. But anyway, he had and he has a stand. I did have a standard Xbox One. It broke not too long ago. Um, he installed Warzone, he started playing Warzone, he had non-stop issues, he had lagging issues, frame rate drops, his menus were terrible, I mean the menus are pretty bad in Warzone, um, or the warp before this update might have improved that, but anyway, 
he had a lot of issues on his standard Xbox One and understandably so and it's quite coincidental that he installed Warzone and within I think around one or two months of him starting to play Warzone his Xbox One actually packed in and broke so I mean I understand where people come from okay it is a fact that the wider the field of view the more strain on the hardware that causes things like frame rate drops and maybe even game crashes and stuff um, it all depends on the hardware that you're using I understand that but there is no reason why I cannot run field of view even if they didn't even give us 120 field of view just give us the option to increase it just a little bit more than 80 I think it's 80 I'm pretty sure it's locked at 80 on console in Warzone um, correct me if I'm wrong I, I'm pretty sure it's not as low as 60 that is that's terrible but as much as I genuinely think it's bullshit that an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro cannot run Warzone at 120 field of view even if they came out with that excuse, which it is an excuse in my opinion, they could have at least brought this over for next generation consoles, the Xbox Series X um, and S, the PS5. These next generation of consoles are practically PCs. I mean, yeah, consoles have still got a way to go to catch up with, with PCs, high-end PCs. PCs compared to consoles are absolute beasts. But you can't deny that consoles aren't that far behind anymore in terms of specification and hardware. They are definitely increasing in quality more and more as time goes on and they are catching up to PC, they are getting there. There is absolutely no reason why Field of View could not run on next generation consoles. I personally don't think there's any reason why it wouldn't be able to run on a PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. But nonetheless, even if they came out with that excuse and just gave it to next gen consoles, they could definitely do that and we haven't heard anything official yet and probably won't on Field of View Slider. They've kept very quiet about it. We've had the patch notes and there's absolutely nothing in there regarding Field of View Slider. They did say that they've added a lot of new settings and stuff and tweaked things and as you can see in the gameplay, you might see a few new settings uh, that are made available to toggle on and off. Um, but there's nothing on Field of View and it's <coughs> it's very disappointing. It really is. I'm not going to let it ruin the experience. I mean, once it drops to it tonight at 5pm, I believe, UK time over in the UK, it's currently 9am. Um, so it's quite a while to go, but at 5 p.m. tonight, the uh, the update will officially drop. Season one begins. Um, sorry if you heard me correctly, my fingers there. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, season one begins tonight at 5 p.m. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Caldera. I'm looking forward to the whole season ahead. Okay, I'm not gonna let it ruin anything. It was just a very anticipated feature. Everyone, almost everyone, thought it was gonna come. At least for next generation of consoles, everyone thought that it was gonna come and um, it, it, it hasn't um, maybe it's because I'm on the Xbox One X who knows maybe people that are on the Series X or the PS5 that have preloaded the update and they go on now and they can check the settings maybe they have a field of view slider I don't know at the time of this video I don't know but the chances are probably not and the chances of a field of view slider coming at all to console now after this this was the best time out of any time to release a field of view slider so for it not to come with this update which it hasn't um, is a big slap in the face, a big tap to the balls, and basically screams that we're never going to get a field of view slide of console. Um, at least, maybe not until next year when Modern Warfare 2 comes out. I don't know how they're going to do things with Warzone and stuff. I don't know if they're going to transfer everything to Modern Warfare 2's engine. Maybe then we'll get a field of view slide of that. It's quite a possibility, actually, now I'm saying it. Um, but for now, and probably for the next year, at least, we aren't going to get a field of view slider. So, yeah. Um, Sorry for creating false hope with my last video. I didn't say quote me on anything. I didn't have any evidence to back it up. I was just putting my thinking cap on and speculating. And uh, like I've said, I, I genuinely thought we were going to get a field of view slider. But yeah, so that's all I've got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone is hyped as I am for the new Pacific update. Um, hope everyone does have a good time playing it tonight. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I've been Clements, you've been absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.